The Chiquibul Forest Reserve, despite all efforts to safeguard this vast expanse of wilderness, remains under constant threat from Guatemalan peasants residing in nearby communities along the western border. This massive protective area lies wholly within the Greater Maya Mountains and covers approximately 231 square miles. It is by far the largest managed reserve in Belize. To better understand the scale of damage being done to the Chiquibul, we joined Friends for Conservation and Development for an aerial survey of the region. This uh, was our fifth flight for this year. We usually start in January. Uh, these flights are done to monitor um, uh, the slash and burning season. Right, Pretty much this time of the year, starting from January to about this time, is when we will have people cut forest and uh, burn it. Right, So that's... Uh, that's a given. Every year we'll see that. The view from above is magnificent. The breadth of the massif beneath shows the range of the Maya mountains. A closer look, however, reveals the wholesale despoliation of the forest cover. What we have seen today is um, it's very impressive, you know, and it's very sad because we, we see a lot of clearings. The, the area uh, called the South Chiquipu, um, in the South Sabara area, um, the Illegal Guatemalans, I'll say, because we know they are illegal Guatemalans. They have advanced, you know, uh, fantastic. Um, r at this time, I cannot really quantify. Very easily, they have gone four kilometers inside. Um, what I noticed is the area of South Sebara. Five years ago, when we were patrolling that area, they abandoned the area. But they have come back just, just this year. And their abrupt return has proven to be far more devastating. The earth below is swathed by vegetation, which makes it a lot easier to observe the damage from above. Occasionally, there's a plume of white smoke wafting into the air, followed by huge tracts of cleared land. In just two months, these illegal farmers have made significant progress denuding the forest. Also along the border, we saw a lot of burning and a lot of uh, cattle ranching. Right? Um, of course, uh, you know, pretty much all of this we have already recorded it. We just wanted to see what's the new activity. But, um, but what is more um, that stands out is the burning, you know. And, and we knew this was going to happen because of Hurricane Earl. It accumulated a lot of fuel, a lot of uh, fallen forest. And, um, and of course the milpas, the slash and burning, um, you know, that's what starts a fire. That's the traditional way of preparing the land. On the ground, out of view from the prying lens of our camera, another type of illicit activity is underway. Gold panning has also taken root here. Deep in a rough country, a team of men is busy extracting the precious mineral from the waterways that crisscross the Chiqui Bowl. We know they are here because gold panning has been on the rise in recent weeks. Currently, we are doing a study of the macro invertebrates, and um, we are, you know, trying to understand right now, quantify that. Um, what happens is that uh, gold panners, they don't only extract gold. You know, it's not like you pull out the gold of a rock and go home. You know. To do that, they have to really, like, plow all the riverbanks. And by doing that, they also destroy the forest, you know, by removing the rocks, big rocks, really big boulders. They, they piece by piece, they will do this. And trees fall, and this just tumbles over. And then um, what this creates is completely changes the regime of the water system there, of the, the creeks, the tributaries, right? Creates a lot of sedimentation and erosion, which, which flows down. But apart from that, um, the the people who are doing the illegal activity they they cut a lot of um, uh, other trees and palms for food they hunt and um, and they create a lot of garbage that refuse along with human waste ultimately finds its way into the various watersheds fecal coliform is bacteria that originates in the intestines of warm-blooded animals its presence in aquatic environments is perhaps an indication that the water has been contaminated with fecal material from humans or other animals. This can be the result of direct discharge of waste from mammals and birds, agricultural and storm effluents, or from human sewage. 
using the toilets is a problem, you know? They, they defecate in the water or near the water, and all of this is, is going downstream, which is the main um, Mopan, Chiquibul, and the Belize River eventually. And there's a bigger problem uh, that we have seen is that, that they um, light fires, they, they create forest fires. We don't know exactly why they do it, you know, they, they probably it's for spite or maybe just to clear the land so that they could see if patrol is coming. Whatever the reason, the Chiki Bull is under direct attack and begs the question whether more can be done through political will to defend it from illegal farmers. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano.